All right, thank you for joining us today. What we're going to do is show you how to make a high definition um, uh, video that's at the highest rate we can currently get. And if you look, I've already made a video for this demonstration that's loaded into our Camtasia Studio 8. And you see it on the screen here. I have just saved it, and by default, it wanted to put a 854 by 480 resolution. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down here and bring it to uh, recording dimensions, which I did at 920. Or uh, what we're looking at is we want to make it 1920 by 1080. Keep the aspect ratio. If you want a black background, that's fine. And we're just going to say OK. Now what we need to do is we want to produce this video out as an actual higher definition so that when it uh, goes in. So what we need to do is we will go into File, Produce and Share, and we're going to make a preset. So make it new. We'll use the uh, uh, let's see, production presets. We don't want to use that, see? It only gave us the 720 and that. So let's close that. We'll go up here to uh, Custom Production Setting. Okay. Click Next. And then we're going to use MOV, QuickTime Movie. It makes a much larger video, but it's like any image. The larger it is, the better the quality it's going to display when you uh, resize it, and especially when you blow it up. So we'll go to Next, and then we're going to change the QuickTime options. And you will have to have QuickTime uh, encoding already set up in this. If not, you'll have to go out to Camtasia Studio and download the uh, Kodak for it. Okay, so now we're going to Video Settings. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the frames are at 30 frames per second. We want to make sure that the keyframes are set to automatic. Uh, frame recording is fine. By default it goes to high. We want to move it over to from high to best. Leave this encoding check to best quality. And then we want the data rate to be set to automatic. And this at the top, compression type, you do want the H.264. Now see here it changed everything. So we'll go through it one more time. We'll change the frame rate to 30. We'll change this to automatic. Change the high to best. Then leave this at automatic and click OK. Next, what we want to do is make sure that this says 1920 by 1080 HD letterbox. Uh, it doesn't matter if you click the uh, preserve aspect ratio for what we're doing right now. Now in the sound settings, we do want to change this. Uh, your MPEG-4 low complexity AAC, we'll leave it at that. This here we want to make sure by default it brings it in at 44100. We're going to set it for 4800 16 bit stereo. That way it will bring everything in. Uh, we'll leave this prepare for internet streaming, uh, fast start, and then click OK. Now we should see that we have everything set here in your details. OK. There is a little bit of a thing we found when setting these up that it doesn't always show this to be the size you set it to. What we found is you may have to go back in and out and reset the settings a couple times for it to hold. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, I would guess it's a little bug they have in their system. So next we're going to click Next. And then we leave everything here. Uh, 1920, 1080, we can maintain the aspect ratio. Now here, we've actually uh, included a watermark here, which you could do. You could also uh, include HTML. We happen to put this in just for our own little advertisement. Um, okay, and then next, and then production, we'll leave it as untitled. Uh, I'm just going to throw it on the desktop here when we're done. Uh, you can all upload it to the FTP, but we'll leave it at this and say finish. OK, 
okay we'll let that encode so again you want to make sure that you first have the codec installed in your um, Studio 8 uh, Camtasia Studio 8 and that you can go to their website and just download because otherwise it will stop when you click on the MOV and then um, we're going to make sure that all these settings are where we want them on our uh, system here and uh, this will give us a non blurry production I'm gonna pause this and let it go so you don't have to listen to me ramble on okay we just finished up here and I'm gonna put a little note up here to remind you guys that I should have told you in the beginning Okay, that you can um, see this video is up. the um, set your recording to save as dot avi in your Camtasia recorder tools under general options. Set the frame rate to thirty tool and tools options and inputs, and set the area to record to nineteen twenty by ten eighty. If you have that, if not, you might have to select a smaller setting. And also remember, the higher these settings, the larger the files and the more processing power it will take to render your videos. It could take up to hours to render the video if your system has limited resources. So just a little reminder. Now you can see we finished up. Everything's good here. Uh, so let's finish. And we can upload the video here. And let's see. Let's go in and sign in here uh, oops uh, we don't want that uh, let's see actually we don't even need to sign in to here to do this we can close this since we've already preset everything we can go into here and share to YouTube and we're all set go there title we'll just call it uh, test 2 description is um, high, uh, high def video and the tag we'll put HD as our tag okay we'll set it as public for right now and we'll go finish And again, this is going to render and take a while, so I'm going to pause it here. Okay, we're back, and uh, as you can see, our video is almost done rendering. And once it's done rendering, we'll go out to uh, YouTube and see what it looks like. And that may take just a little bit. Uh, this, And another thing to help you understand, once you set these settings into the recording as well as the way it renders, to the high definition you should not have to go back and reset these uh, it should by default so unless you do a change to these settings it will be out there alright so let's see if our video is out there yet we'll do a refresh here there it is still processing now this may take a few minutes so I'm going to pause it again here all right welcome back and uh, as you can see the video is done uploading uh, shows us the time. I'm going to bring it up here to it. And if you notice by default, it always says to auto. Uh, you can see we've got our 1080 high def. We'll change it to that. I'm going to okay, bring it into full screen. Is, uh, pretty grainy. And um, you can see we before and we, look. we had, and I'm demonstrating here where we only were able to get 720. You can't quite see, can see that the image like is it. grainy. So now what we need to do is we need to resolve this issue of why it's so grainy looking. So let's continue on and play and you'll see that even though I have this full screen in the highest definition, it uh, is just not of the best quality because we want you to be able to see the actual uh, content. Uh, the screen that I have is pretty uh, high res. In fact, uh, what I'll do is reduce it down here and here, and we'll show you what my screen resolution is at for this monitor. And as you can see, it's 1680 by 1050. All right, so that is our demo video. Thank you. 
All right, that concludes the uh, tutorial here on the Studio 8. I hope that helps everyone, and it definitely resolved our issue where we now can get a high-definition video out there to show you and all of our followers on trafficbuildersguide.com how to do our website and also to have qu high-quality videos to uh, show our tutorials on. Thank you, and have a great day.